Let's take a look at a few other reactions with acids. First of all, we're going to take a look at how acids and metals react. So there are certain types of metals that are called active metals. We won't get into too much about how we determine which ones those are. But when an acid reacts with an active metal, it's going to form hydrogen gas and a salt. So hydrogen gas is H2. That's the formula for hydrogen gas. It's a binary. It's a, a diatomic gas. So we need two H pluses to form that hydrogen gas. Notice that this you know, reaction still has, it has to be a balanced reaction. The hydrogens in this HNO3 are going to form our hydrogen gas. The nitrate, so NO3 minus, is the anion that's gonna be in our salt. Zinc, when it forms an ion, it forms zinc two plus. So the zinc two plus and our nitrate are going to combine. Since nitrate is a negative one and zinc is a plus two, we're gonna need two nitrates to cancel out the two positives from zinc. And that's where we get the zinc nitrate formula. So do make sure that you review your formulas and you know naming and how this all comes together. So that finding that salt is very similar to what we did with acid-base neutralization reactions. Let's take a look also at how acids react with carbonates or bicarbonates. So we have an acid combines with a carbonate or a bicarbonate to form carbon dioxide, water, and a salt. So notice consistently through all of these that you're forming some form of salt. The CO2 and the H2O are from our H's and our bicarbonate, or our H and our carbonate. So those are taken care of. So whatever's left over, so here I have chloride and I have potassium, so my salt here is potassium chloride chloride, potassium, potassium chloride. Notice that it's just the coefficient here that changes. Potassium chloride is always going to be K plus Cl minus 1 and 1, so our formula is going to be KCl. So do make sure to go back through and review your formulas for ionic compounds. You do want to make sure that you have the correct formula for your ionic compound. There are other types of reactions with acids and bases, but these are the ones that we're going to focus on for this particular course. The reaction of carbonates and bicarbonates are extremely important to the human body. Um, the carbonate, so the carbon dioxide production here, is, and the reverse of that reaction, is extremely important in the human body because carbonic acid is, so H2CO3, which is what we get the CO2 and H2O from in these carbonates, this acid is extremely important to the human body and the pH of our, of our blood. Uh, because carbon dioxide, that's something that's carried in our blood, bloodstream from various parts of our body, and we get it out. We, we get rid of it when we breathe. If we don't get rid of enough of that carbon dioxide, it's going to affect the pH of our blood because we're going to have too much carbonic acid. So these reactions are going to, are extremely important for if you're going to be taking any sort of physiologies or other types of courses.